Now you can look. Hold your finish. Good. That feels way more solid with that. Okay, Larry, going to look at your putting technique. And on the left was the stroke that you started the session with before we did any adjustments. Going to compare you to Tiger Woods. First, let's look at your setup. Very solid setup. Good width of stance, elbows in a good position, eyes over the ball. I like your uh, setup very much. The only thing I suggest that you change and work with for 30 days is that how your right hand grips the club and let that forefinger curl under. I did talk a little bit about uh, the reverse overlap grip. I think you would be a much better putter if you got your hands uh, a little closer together. And uh, that would could be achieved if you did a reverse overlap. Now let's look at Tiger's stroke. Is he very solid, but no wristiness in his swing as he hits the ball. His eyes are looking down. As he continues to follow through and the ball rolls away, he doesn't turn his head early. He's still looking down. He's still looking down. He won't turn until the putter comes to a complete stop. He will hold his posture, his spine angle, his finish of his putter, and his eyes to the ground. He'll hold it for a moment or two before he turns to start looking at the roll. And he's now starting to turn. And as he turns, he keeps his spine angle. He keeps the putter right where it is until the putt gets to the hole. Let's look at your technique. And again, this is before we made any adjustments and we worked on this. Not a wristy stroke going back. You have a nice, you have maintained this angle here. You have the, what we call the Y. You're swinging the Y. When you make contact, your eyes are down. As the ball rolls away, you start to turn while your club is still going forward. And you start to look. And then and you have a little bit of a, of, of a recoil here. The only other thing I'd like to comment on your stroke, you have a tendency to flip the right hand under and the back of the left wrist will cup. So right now you have this angle, but you will tend to increase that even stronger here as you cup the back of your right of your left wrist and instead of having your your left hand continue swinging forward you kind of stop the left hand and let the putter head uh, get pushed with the right hand past the left hand and so instead of really using the shoulder swing the rocking of the shoulders move the the putter you are using the uh, hinging around the left wrist to move the putter and that's going to be very inconsistent in terms of how much force you deliver it also will cause the face angle to uh, on short putts to be hard to control so you really need to work on developing a uh, a shoulder swing a shoulder rock to move the putter uh, I had done briefly a little drill where I wanted you to feel like you swung the back of the left hand to the target, to the hole, and put your mind more on the left hand instead of the right hand. I did want to comment on the swinging of the, the club with your hand versus the shoulders. Um, you did make a big improvement in the putt hole look. Um, this particular stroke, I want us to focus on swinging the Y through the ball and keep your Y intact. Don't let the angles in this Y change during the stroke. And so there's your Y set up. As you take it back, you maintained that Y. And then as you come through, you can see how particularly right there, 
you really lost the why. And so ideally I, that putter should be more here uh, in order to still have your why, but you're flipping that, that putter head underneath and you're cupping the back of your left wrist. You kind of stopped your left hand and just flip the right hand under. And uh, that's going to create chaos in controlling the speed and the face angle. So you need to kind of learn how to um, swing the shoulders and the elbows and maintain that angle in your hands and not be so handsy. Um, you may be a candidate for left hand low. Uh, there's an awful lot of very good putters on tour that, that will reverse their hands and put the left hand low. One of the things that does that I think you need to start feeling is it flattens the left wrist out a little bit more as you grip it. And uh, even if you did it for 30 days just as a drill and then went back to the, to the more comfortable grip, you may find that the time you spent with left hand low retrained that left hand not to get flippy. Um, if we do have an opportunity to work again on your putting, uh, I'd like to see that and experiment a little bit with that. Now here we are uh, on the right, I have your putting stroke when we started working on some of these fundamentals, particularly the putt hole look. And as you take it back and hit through the ball, you have your eyes down and you're keeping them down as you follow through. And then your putter comes to a complete stop. Then you look. Now you did have a little bit of a recoil. And what you're going to want to learn to do is how to swing forward, hold your posture and the finish of the putter before you turn and look. And while you're turning and looking, you keep that, that forward position. Swing to that pose, and did you have a good pose? Swing to the pose. Perfect. Okay. Don't worry about anything else. Do that again. You need to own the feeling of swinging to this position. Swing to the pose. That's the only thing you care about. That's it. Good. Stand very tall. Swing to the pose. Good. I don't care about the miss hits right okay. now. Pose. A few more. You're, you're using a simplified connected swing. There you go. I would actually stand just slightly, you almost get your hands too low. Okay. Stand a little, just a little tall, almost as tall as you think you can stand. Oh, that was clean. That was perfect. Hands high. Good. Hit that old fan. Yes, still got it. But still got it. Yes. Perfect. Now we're going to look at your chip shot, and on the left is your uh, chipping technique that you used at the beginning of the session before we made any adjustments. It's going to compare you to Tiger. Tiger has his feet very close together and so do you, so that's excellent. You're choking down a little bit like Tiger is, that's also very good. The only thing that uh, you, it looks like you might be setting into your right side a little bit more than your left side. So I would like for you to kind of open your stance up slightly. You can see how Tiger's back foot, I'm sorry, Tiger's front foot here is set back just a little bit so that opens him up a little bit to his target. The other thing you want to do when you set up is you want to choke down the club and make that a consistent habit. And it looks like you do that, so you do an excellent job of choking down. So the only thing you need to adjust in your setup is opening your stance slightly and just put a little bit more weight on your left side. You can see this strong angle in Tiger's set up here. So he's he's definitely um, shifted over toward the target. He's really sitting more into that left leg, left hip, than he is his right leg and right hip. Now let's look at the swinging technique that Tiger uses. His elbows stay close to each other. You just look at his arms. They swing connected to the chest. The club is moving because the shoulders and the chest is moving. You can also watch how his right knee and right hip swivel to the target. His belt buckle 
is turning towards the target as well. So it's not just an upper body movement. It's a t it, his lower and upper body are connected. It's like a little mini golf swing. Let's look at your movement as you go back. And as you come through, you have a tendency, now again, this was before we worked on your technique. You have a tendency to kind of keep your right side here kind of stable and, and it's not really turning. Your right hip is just frozen there. And that causes your, your left elbow to really bend. You create all these angles right here. You're not swinging your chest through. Um, your, your chest is coming through a little bit, but because the right side of your body is not coming through, so you're gonna, you need to have this the right shoulder, the right hip, the right knee all moving with the chest. So the lower body and upper body are moving as a unit. Now on the right is uh, the session that I worked with you on ch adjusting your technique. And you can see how you have turned your your toes, and your, you've opened your stance a little bit here. That's excellent. So you, you, here you're, you're kind of angling yourself this way, whereas before you were very square. So that was a big improvement. I like that a lot. As you come back, this is just a very little small uh, chip shot, nothing fancy. Staying connected. As you come through, much better position. Here your, your shoulders were here and, and you swung that right shoulder much further forward. So by swinging that right shoulder more forward and turning your right shoulder and right hip a little bit and having your open stance, that allowed you to keep this left arm much more uh, stable and not let it fluctuate in its angle and you now have over here your sternum was kind of here and your and and this was someplace else but you now have it all much more in line here much more uh, connected swing chest swing keep working with that technique until it's very very comfortable but that's going to just improve your results so much more Rehearse to your pose and then swing, to, then hit the to the pose. Swing in the chest. That's what we need to do every time. Good. Trust it. I like yeah. the technique. Wow. That could be really good. Good right there, Larry. Yep. Watch how well you swing the club with the chest. How your right shoulder and right hip move to the target that could be really good <laughs> 